Hello, Isopod friends. This is Jay. I got a lot of views on my rubber ducky video, so I will do another video on the rubber ducky family from Asia. Today, we will talk about the panda king and its care. You'll be surprised how easy is this isopod, and maybe at the end of this video, you will get a panda king. Panda King Isopod The Panda King is a small isopod from the limestone caves in Vietnam. Let's talk taxonomy. Hobbies call this Kubir species Panda King. I came from a science background, so for more taxonomic accuracy, we will just call this Panda King for now. This is what we know so far about Panda King. It belongs to family Armadillidae, which means the telson is a trapezoidal in shape. As for the genus, we don't know yet. It has not been properly identified by science. It looks like a Cobaris, but we're not 100% sure if it's Cobaris. As a matter of fact, Armadillidae family is the largest family in suborder Onisidae, or terrestrial isopod. This includes Cobaris, Venicillo, Armadillo, Merulinella, and almost 80 genera. So this could belong to one of the 80 plus genera, or it could be a new genus that we haven't discovered yet. Merulinella by Colorado was mislabeled as Cobaris species in the hobby back in 2018. Then we found out that it was already properly classified by Bud London in 1895. So going forward, we do not want to make the same mistake. We just don't know the genus and the species for now. And assuming it's a Cobaris species, it's not very scientific at all. Physical Description Small I remember when I first received my shipment when I opened the package, I was shocked. I thought the breeder had sent me mankais. They are small. Smaller than the rubber duckies, but not as small as a powder white. The size is between rubber duckies and Cobaris marina. Coloration and pattern. The basic color is brownish black. From the second to the fourth segment of the perion, the color is creamy white. The legs and the antenna are white. So, the color pattern of this isopod resembles a panda bear. Well, I think they should have called it tiny panda because it's a small isopod instead of a panda king. When you think of kings, you associate this with grandeur, like big, like Henry VIII. Care. Basic setup. You will need a Sterilite container, it's a 6 quart shoebox size. You can use what you get this at Walmart or Target. You will need holes for ventilation. For my setup, I create a cave-like habitat. Cave-like habitat means 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Not more than 80 degrees. Your isopod will dry out fast. Put this in your basement. Don't put this in the attic. You have to give them a moist substrate, which means high humidity. For furnishing, first you need a cork bark. Second, you need a magnolia pod. Panda kings love magnolia pod. They are very small and they feel safe in between the crevices of this pod. If you're culturing panda king and you want it to succeed, Magnolia Pod is your best friend. I think I purchased mine at eBay. It's like a dollar a piece. And I bought a lot of them. I don't know if you've noticed, my substrate looks very moist. I mentioned this before in my previous video. The caves in Southeast Asia are cool and moist. For food, I give them leaf litter. But probably in the wild, they're decomposing bat droppings. That's why my potting soil is either happy frog 
or fox farm. They contain bat guano or bat poo. For their calcium source, I give them calcium carbonate powder form. All arthropods need a calcium source for their exoskeleton. You can use limestones or garden lime and yes, even a cuddle bone. I like the calcium carbonate powder form because it's just easy. I purchased this at Amazon and I'm using it for like two years now for all my rubber duckies isopods and I even give my customer free calcium carbonate. As far as reproduction is concerned, they will start reproducing around 6 to 8 months, given the right setup. I started my colony back in October 2020 and it's June 2021 right now and I already sold some panda kings. They are fast breeders. I started with 12 panda kings. I probably have 60 to 70 panda kings now. So let's recap. Panda King Isopod is a small isopod from Asia. They look like a panda bear because of their coloration and pattern. It's an identified species and we're not even sure if it belongs to genus Cobaris. So having a rubber ducky face is not the taxonomic key for Cobaris, neither coming from Southeast Asia like Thailand or Vietnam. Almost all members of family Armadillidae has a rubber ducky face. Cobaris is also a pantropical species. It's not indigenous solely to Southeast Asia. There are Cobaris found in Mexico and Australia. Panda kings are fast breeders. They start reproducing within 6 to 8 months, as long as you give them the proper substrate, right temperature, and humidity. Cost to start a new culture, the average price as of June 2021 is around $8 to $10 per one isopod. You can get 12 for around $120, that's a good price. Don't pay like $150 to $180 for 12. Panda kings are fast breeders. So if you want an exotic rubber ducky isopod from Asia, you don't want to wait for one year for your culture to get established. You want them to reproduce around 6 to 8 months and you don't mind it being on a smaller side, then Panda King is your isopod. And if you like anything from this video, please like it and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video. Goodbye.